Now I will demonstrate Globe Farmer's manual tablet compaction machine model MTCM1. This machine was designed to compact powders into tablets one at a time. This machine can be used to make single layer tablets, double layer tablets or triple layer tablets and also can be used to make a tablet within a tablet. This machine can also be used to compress powder samples obtained with unit dose samplers of Globe Pharma into tablets before submitting to the lab for analytical testing. That exercise reduces the sampling error considerably. The compression is accomplished by means of applying hydraulic pressure using a manual hydraulic pump. And a gauge is provided to monitor the pressure used to compact the powders. This gauge can be provided in three different capacities. 3,000 pounds, 5,000 pound or 10,000 pound. The gauge is calibrated against an NIST certified load cell and the calibration curve is provided in the instruction manual also. There are three sets of upper punch holders that can come with the machine. This is upper punch holders B, punch holders D and punch holders DS. And the punch holders help align the punches properly during compaction. And the pressure can be monitored by means of this pressure gauge which can be provided with either 3,000 pound capacity, 5,000 pound capacity or 10,000 pound capacity. The gauge is calibrated against an NIST certified load cell and the calibration curve is provided along with the instruction manual. This machine can be used to make B, D or DS type tablets either round or special shaped. And the machine is uh, compact and it is also a portable machine. It can, the punches are guided uh, by aluminum punch holders. This is the upper punch holder, this is the lower punch holder and the die goes on top of the lower punch holder. And this set here is B, like boy type punch holders, this is D like dog type punch holders, this is DS which is bigger than D size punch holders. And these pieces here are brass cups which we use to collect the ejected tablets. The machine is portable, it is compact, it is 16 inches wide, 12 inches deep and 24 inches high and it weighs only 65 pounds. You can move it from room to room when you want to use it. Now we will go to actual demonstration of making a tablet and also I will show you how to change the punch holders from one type to another type. This is the upper punch and you take it out by loosening the screw and taking the uh, punch out straight. And the punch, this particular punch has longer uh, tip. This punch is usually used on a rotary tablet press as the lower punch, but in this machine we use it as the upper punch. This is the punch with the longer tip. And this is the die. These, these are standard tooling and the lower punch goes into the lower punch holder. 
you insert it from the bottom of the lower punch holder, put it on a flat surface and then just hand tighten the nylon screw. Then the lower punch stays inside the lower punch holder. Now you put the die in the seat provided on top of the lower punch holder just by placing it there. Now I will show you how to make an actual tablet. This is some microcrystalline cellulose powder and I just put it in the die and then I will just fill the die or you can scrape off the excess powder and then you bring the holder with the die beneath the uh, upper punch and then you can actually drop the upper punch by loosening the screw and pressing the punch with your one of your fingers and let it go into the die. Now we can apply pressure by pumping the manual hydraulic pump. You can monitor the pressure applied on the pressure gauge. Right now, I applied about 1,000 pounds of pressure. Once the compaction is done, you loosen the valve so that the piston retracts and then you close the valve back and then you loosen the screw, nylon screw, and press the upper punch back up. Now the tablet is compacted and it is inside the die. Now we will eject the tablet into this brass ejection cup. Each set of tooling, whether it is B, D or DS, they all have a separate ejection cup. Now you put the die with the tablet on the die seat provided on the ejection cup and this will go underneath this and now you do the same thing you loosen the nylon screw drop the upper punch into the die and align it by moving the lower punch holder so that the upper punch goes into the into the die now you just put some pressure now the uh, tablet was ejected into the cup. Now you just release the valve, the piston retracts, now you can push the upper punch up, now you can remove the die with the ejection cup and the tablet is collected in the ejection cup. Now this is the compact we have just made. MTCM1 can also be used to make a bilayer tablet or a triple layer tablet. When you want to do that, uh, for example, you want to make a bilayer tablet, you weigh the first layer, put it in the die, compact it, but do not eject the tablet. Then you weigh the second layer, put it in the die, and you compact it again. Then you eject the tablet. So you will do the same thing if you want to make a trilayer tablet. There you will weigh each layer separately, compress all of them, and then you would eject the triple layer tablet. This machine can also be used to compact powder samples obtained using Globe Farmers Unidose powder samplers so that the samples can be submitted to the lab in the form of a compact. This reduces the sampling error considerably. Now I will demonstrate how to change the punch holders from one type to another. For example, we will change from B type to D type tooling. Before we do that, we have to remove the upper punch and you remove this. 
To remove the upper punch holder, we have to loosen three Allen bolts on the top of the top platen. Uh, let me show you how to do that. You just loosen the three screws. using an allen wrench just hold the upper punch holder and the punch holder I will now install D type punch holders this is D upper punch holder this is D lower punch holder and this is D type tooling. Before you install the upper punch holder the best thing to do is close the valve and pump so that the piston comes all the way down. Now it would be easier to align the uh, punch holder here. Now, the, now you tighten the three screws at the top of the uh, punch holder. And now you have installed the upper punch holder. Now you loosen uh, the valve so the piston retracts, close the valve and we will now install the D type upper punch which is again a, a standard lower punch on a production machine is used as the upper punch. Put your middle finger under the tip of the punch and your thumb on the shank of the punch just go straight and just goes like that and then you tighten the nylon screw. And the lower punch is very simple. This is actually the upper punch used on a regular machine. It is inserted straight in and put it on a flat surface, tighten the screw and it will go here. And this is the die for detooling. Now you can make a tablet just like I have shown before and you would use D type ejection cup to eject the tablet. And uh, if you want to change it to DS type, you would repeat the exact procedure. It is the same, same thing. And um, if you are using um, a caplet shape tooling or any other non round type tooling, usually the punches have a key. So uh, on the lower punch holder, there is a keyway drilled on the lower punch uh, bore so that you can use keyed punches also.